Good day, church family. It's election day. And just by me saying that, some of you may be excited and others of you may be fearful. Others of you may be uh, full of tension. It's election day. Oh no, what's going to happen? I want to speak for a few moments about some things that you may want to consider doing this election day. By the time you open this video, my assumption is many of you have already voted. If the polls are still open, I encourage you uh, to stop this video for a few moments and go vote and then come back and finish watching. But I want us to consider today as we await for the election results, some things that we can consider doing. And as Christians, things that we should be leaning into and maybe some things we even need to avoid. I think spiritual disciplines are at the heart of uh, what we should embody on this day. Uh, if you're going to be one who is tense today or f even fearful today or, or maybe concerned or uh, concerned about what may happen depending on who wins, what's the result, what's going to be the uh, how people respond to the results. Uh, we need to consider how we are responding first. So for you and I, what we often find ourselves doing is we go to a place of, of our habits. And so today as we begin to talk about spiritual disciplines and what spiritual practices we may want to, to be a part of today, let's first consider uh, our habits, not our habits so much in what spiritual disciplines we practice, but think about how do you respond when you are anxious or there's tension in the air or there's anger or when you when you lose or when you win. Think about how you respond. Do you gloat when you win? Do you get angry and uh, spew, you know, just poor rhetoric on those who may have won. Uh, when there's fear, attention, do you uh, find yourself moving away and just avoiding it all together and pretending like it's not happening? Do you find yourself not feeling well? Uh, is there knots in your stomach? Are there moments of uh, uh, where you just are avoiding certain things in your life. When there's tension, do you find yourself uh, being quick with your words towards those who you love and call your family? Do you uh, allow yourself to say things that really shouldn't be said? First thing we need to do today as we find ourselves maybe in some tension is to first Consider and know your own habits of how you respond in the midst of situations. Secondly, avoid some of those responses. Especially avoid the unhealthy responses. And now I want us to consider some things that maybe you and I should do um, instead of sitting in front of the TV for five, six hours this afternoon, this evening, awaiting results, um, the results aren't going to be any different if you're staring at them or if you uh, flip them on and off every so often. That It's going to be what it is. Maybe you and I need to remove yourself from it and do some spiritual practices. Why? Because in um, practicing spiritual practices, disciplines we 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 separate ourselves from our egos from and and we draw closer to uh, God and and who God truly wants us to be uh, by practicing spiritual disciplines and these practices we develop listening skills to be able to hear God and how God longs for us to respond we our, our intuition is sharpened and we are able to discern things better and we are rooted um, in God. And so we practice these things today so that we don't respond negatively in our world today. So today I encourage you on this day where it, it may be a day of tension for you to 
Be mindful of Psalm 42. As a heart uh, longs for a flowing stream, so long my soul for thee, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God, writes the Psalter. May our heart thirst for God today. And as we thirst for God today, I'm going to give you a few things that you may want to consider to do today instead of sitting in front of the TV or or just being all ramped up, tenuous, uh, waiting results. First, move your body. Get out and move. Scripture talks about moving. Uh, psychologists talk about moving. Move your body. Do something today to move your body. Two, another spiritual discipline I think you and I maybe need to practice today instead of uh, leaning into the tension today and the anxiety today is find some time to laugh. Uh, Surround yourself with some people today that are going to cause you to laugh. Uh, Tell a joke. Watch a funny television show. Um, Find something that's going to ease your body. Your body can't take the tension and anxiety for hours on end. Laugh today. But I also want you to practice some mindfulness. Mindfulness means paying attention. Uh, without judgment and on purpose to what is happening right now in our minds and bodies. If you find yourself uh, getting uh, tense, um, find a way to relax. If, if, if the world feels heavy, find a way to lighten it. If, if it's warm or, or cool or whatever it is, practice mindfulness to know where you are and to know where you want to be. Pay attention to your body. Pay attention to your mind. And then I encourage you to meditate and, and pray. Um, wherever you are and, and wherever you feel yourself today, find time to meditate and pray. Uh, do a, a Lectio Divina. Read scripture. Pray the scripture. You can look some old videos up to, to find a, a way to do that. Pray uh, in silence, relax in God's arms as you meditate. Practice palms up and palms down as I've addressed that before. You know, uh, release things to God and receive things from God. Release things from God and receive things from God. These practices will help us today to be able to bear whatever is going on. Not just today, but every day. Because if we lean into the spiritual practices, the love of God will flow from us. And that's what we need now more than ever. See, presidents come and go. Representatives come and go. Senators come and go. Governors come and go. Thing, though, they come. But God is constant. And the love of God is constant. And though we are conditional in the way that we respond to people, The way we respond to our neighbor, God's love is unconditional. See, God loves the person who votes for Donald Trump, and God loves the person who votes for Joe Biden, and God loves the people who vote for third-party candidates. God loves the person who even didn't vote. May our love, by leaning into the spiritual practices today and rooting and grounding ourselves in God, Help us to love our neighbors. Now I want us to take just a moment. Elections are important. Elections have consequences. But so does the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ is more important than anything, any election that we've ever had. May today we spend a few moments with the God who provides for us, the Savior who offers us hope beyond all hope, and the Holy Spirit who can comfort us in the midst of all situations. Today, the greatest advice I can probably give you is disconnect from social media, Turn off the news channels for a few moments. The results will be there when you get back to them, I promise. And allow yourself to rest. Be putting yourselves in the arms of God. Root yourself in the Spirit. 
So no matter what happens, God is at the center of your life and how you respond to it all. May we celebrate the democracy that we have today. But more importantly, most importantly, may we celebrate a God who is here waiting on us to lean into God and celebrate the goodness of God. May our spiritual practices, the ones in which ground us, inspire us, and strengthen our lives and make us better people, be more evident today than ever, so that we truly may be more like Christ, loving our neighbors, finding joy, experiencing peace, and ultimately, hopefully, having self-control. Pray with me. Almighty God, you are here with us. On this day that we deem Election Day, remind us that the world is bigger than the United States. And you, Jesus, are bigger than the United States and our world. May we keep proper perspective today. May we find ourselves leaning into spiritual practices that are going to make us better people on this day and for days to come so that we may respond in all circumstances and situations like that of Jesus Christ. Lord, help us, heal us, care for us on this day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you until we see each other again.